Potions is an exact science, and you can easily get them wrong. But when you get them right, you get them right. Well, stick around, and we'll take a look at the newest box by the Wizarding Trunk, the Potion Storeroom. Hey there, everyone. My name is Perry. And my name is Pearson. And welcome to... Potter Addict. Guys, as we all know, the Wizarding Trunk does some pretty fantastic things. And when one of these boxes shows up on your door, it's super exciting. So I am not going to waste anybody's time. We're going to dive right into this because this one is all about the potions storeroom. So I'll let you guys get a little peek at the front of the box so that we can see everything that they put into this. And then we will open up this box and I will give it to you. Don't I'm not gonna look, I'm not gonna look. I'm just opening it up and get it there. All right, set it over there, put that down so that oh, it doesn't no hit the way, light. No way, no way, no way. Okay, 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 cool. <laughs> what is it, what is it? <gasps> oh, we're gonna start off, yes. We'll, we'll start off with a new creature page since that's right on the top. I honestly thought we were done. I didn't realize that we were getting any more of these and I know how much you love these. I so, wanna keep one of your So let's, uh, let's do this in alphabetical order. So the very first one we have is the Leprechaun. And I know absolutely nothing about the Leprechaun um, besides the fact that he guards a pot of gold and, you know, all the, all the different, uh, St. Patrick's Day fairy tales that you get to hear. So I will definitely read up on that. And then when we flip over to the other side, we've got details on the Leviathan. And again, um, not, not schooled on any details of the Leviathan at all. So I will definitely look forward to giving that a good read and learning up a little bit more about that magical creature. And that is a good way to start it off. What do we got next, Bob? A pen. Ooh, a pen, a pen. I need another pen for my board. I haven't put one on there in a while. So and let's... the top moves. Does it really? Yeah, look. Hold on, hold on. Let's open it up so we can, can so we can I, see can it I better. Move it? Absolutely. Watch. Oh, how cool is that? Well, so let's take let's take a look at this. So you've got a potion bottle. Right? And the stopper at the top of the bottle actually opens. Hey, Dad, that I know, is super cool. I know a perfect spot to put it. Yeah? You got a perfect spot already you picked see, out on the board? The, um, you see the um, um, Phoenix Patronus? Yeah. Put it right um, where Ooh, the wing it would. Is. That would fit in really nicely there. Or I might move, because we've got that one potion bottle up there, I might yeah. move it and put the potion Wait, next what, to the potion what, bottle. Motion. See the potion bottle right the there? Green? The green one? Yeah. yeah. Right, the, I, think that was the, I think that was the one what? that they gave us with the stopper and death. Well, I, I like it. But like the pin guys, the I mean, how cool. I love a good kind of different pin, and it's super, super neat that they gave this one the, the opening stopper there. So I absolutely love that. Great, great pin. Looking forward to adding that one to my board. And what do we got next? Ooh, ooh, okay. We got another little... So... In a past box, we were given a little, um, and actually, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm trying to remember if <sighs> you get so many of these boxes, sometimes elements bleed together. But we got a little box in, in a subscription box, and it was either Lit Joy or it was the Wizarding Trunk, and I can't remember. But they gave us a box that this had a great. whole bunch of these in it. It had four, four different ones, I think. That, yeah, that's over there on the my shelf. And this one is called sneeze wart right and you've got i mean this really like light colored lightly a uh, light green colored mossy uh element inside which is sneeze wart which i've never heard of but i mean hey it's it's the the wizarding world so there's plenty of things that that uh, i've never heard of but this is such an acu acute and adorable bottle i will not put this on my potion shelf. I'm probably going to put this on my herbology shelf no. with the other potion little shelf. little potion stuff that I have. <laughs> this guy. We don't, we don't have very much room on the potion but shelf. But it's Look tiny. How... And you You're have... right. You're right. But this is a potions box. So there's going to be a bunch of things that are probably going to okay. try and squeeze in. But that one's the best one. I know. It is cute. It is a uh, very cute three, little bottle. Two, so one. what do we got next? Oh, oh, look at this. Do you, you know what this is? It's a teapot. Yeah, but I think it's like a steeper, right? So what you do wait, is... Wait, 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 Dad. That reminds me of 
the movie we just watched yesterday where um the where um you know the um the um the parents what is it called? I don't know. What did we watch just the other day? Um, yeah, Harry Potter. Okay, what you are you talking about the 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 groundskeeper for yeah. the cemetery? Yeah, you remember after he got in, um, there was like smoke coming out of the. Yeah. Yeah, no, I know exactly what you mean. Okay, so look at look at how cute this is. So what this is is it's supposed to look like a little tea kettle and saucer, right? So you've got a little. Let me pull this up here so you guys can see. So you've got a little tea kettle and saucer. And, and a oh, hogshead. look at this is a hog's head item. So you've got the hog's head here, little dangling charm off of the top of the tea kettle. But then you open this. I'm sure that this opens somehow. No. Yeah, no, it definitely does. Do you twist it off maybe? Yeah, it's a twist. So when you get it to come off and you put like your tea leaves in here and then this is what you put inside here. There's a little spot right there. So then you put this in your teacup and it disperses the tea into the, you know, the, um, uh, the, the actual tea leaves through your cup of tea. So this is how mom, like mom, when mom steeps her tea. So, but such a cute little thing. It looks just like a little tea kettle. They give you a little tray to set it on and everything. I absolutely love this. And this is definitely, like I said, a, another of our hogshead items. I absolutely love that. That is adorable. I mean, seriously, how, how cute is that little teapot steeper? So, so cute. Love that. Love having another uh, item for the, um, for the hog's head. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, we will, we'll, we'll wait till we get to that point, but what do we got here? What do we got? You want to, you want to open it? Yeah. I see you were, you were, it was, it was killing you. I can see. Wait, how do you open you it? You had it going. You oh. had it right there. Just keep pulling on that side. There you go. What do we got? Is it heavy? I didn't feel it, so. Ooh, oh, what do we got? What do we got? It's a potion. Ooh, a potion, a potion. Okay, un gently unwrap it so we don't drop it and oh. crack it. Ooh, is it yeah. a cool, good one? Yeah, um, there's like a snake inside. Uh, is there? It, no. Ooh, what is that? Ooh. A horned slug. Oh man, look at that guy. That guy is super creepy. So this is not a potion. This is another Wait, element. Dad, it, it can move. Yeah. So this is a, yeah, I know it, it moves around. This is another element for making potions is what this is, right? So you, you've got your little vials of all your different things. So this says, so on here, it says pickled horn slug. Ew. And it says pure blood apothecary. I love the picture of him. He's absolutely hideous looking. Um, yeah, that is so ugly. I mean, yeah, I, I love this, though. I mean, this is a great little element. I love the, the wax seal on the top. They give them a specimen number 6716. So very, very cool. This will be one of these days I'm going to have to redo my potion shelf. And I'm thinking because of the size of that potion shelf, I may have to move it over here. No, I like that over there. I know it looks good, but it's I'm outgrowing that single shelf. And I might need to create an actual, like, cabinet um, so that I can stack the potions in the back and then have potions in the front so it looks more official. So maybe Wait, that's wanna, something we might have to think about. Um, the, that looks like a pickle serenity would eat. <laughs> Gross. My daughter loves pickles. Actually, both my daughters love pickles. So, I But I don't know if they'd eat that. That's pretty gross looking. What are you going to do next? What are you going to give me next? Oh, a big hey, box. Hey, stop looking. A big box. I, I didn't see anything. Pure blood apothecary. So this has, should be another... Uh, hopefully a push. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. What do we got here? We've got, oh, we've got a little pot. Look at this. Pure blood apothecary. We've got a little What's potion this? pot. That, I think this is like a, yeah, this is, so this is like a, a mortise and pestle, right? Where you like Why grind is it so up. so thick? Yeah, you grind up your, your elements. So that's what this is. So this is a mortise and pestle where you can grind up your, your potion elements and um and that way you can put them into your potions i love that that is super adorable like i mean guys look at how cute this is i mean you saw my my little cauldron that uh that we opened with i mean this yeah. is very very cute we should have used this instead <laughs> well we didn't know we had it until just now but i love the mortise and pestle i mean it's super cute um, really, really cute item. I do have, I have a Herbology Mortis and Pestle that I got in, in another box, but this is a, a really cute one for a potion shelf for sure. Love the cauldron style of that. Very, very nice item. What do we got next? Can I open this one? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Here, let's put this back in here so we don't lose that. Oh, what? This is like a double book. So they've given us faux books before, but this is like a double book. 
Oh, how cool is you can, that? You can put potions on this. Yes. So it's like a... So, okay. So let's look at the outside first. So it says, Potion Perfection, a guide to flawless brewing. Right? And then the other one, the other book next to it says, Potent Perils, Recipes for Disaster in Potion Making. And you've got a lot of great details on the back of Potent Perils because it's, you know, they actually see the back of that book. But then when you open it up, you open both books up. Oh, there's a good, it's got some strong magnets okay. in there. You open it up and it's got a divided inside where that you can actually put your your different elements from your potions. Yeah, like like that. And you can put two. Yeah, you can put your sneeze ward in there. I mean, they've even got like this particular thing. Look, it fits in there fit. perfectly. The slug, the 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 yeah, pickled horn have... slug. There's just stuff in there. It, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I said it fits perfectly. It is a little snug, but we can definitely get it out. Oh, there we go. In. No, I got it. I got it. It's that wax seal just made it a little snug. Um, but this is fantastic. Are you gonna use this for your potion? Story? I don't know. Because I love the books. I love the faux book um, look. I love how they made it into two smaller books. That is fantastic. I mean, they, they look completely different, right? So you've got the, the silver embossing, the gold embossing. I mean, the, the page coloring and everything else. But it is a really cute box to, to store your, your potion elements in. So... That's going to be a tough one. This is a tough call how I'm going to use this. You guys comment below. How would you use it in your collection? Would you would you display it as faux books on a shelf? Or would you display it open with some of your potion elements uh, stored inside? It, it, I mean, you can't lose either way. I think this is a really great item. But um, but you let me know what you guys think below. So go right ahead. What Last else we got? Last item. Last item? We're done? Yeah. It went by so quick. No. Uh, let's see here. One second here. Let's open this up here. So this, I don't know. It might be a no, book cover. No, it's like the cover. last thing in the thing. Okay. It might be a book cover. No, no, no. This is not a book cover. This oh, is, it's a oh, potion. How pretty this is this? This is like the same thing, but I, no, instead of animals, it's um, potions. Yeah. So they've got a map of potion making. And this is really cool. Wait, wait, I want to see what this one is. I love the beautiful, the beautiful gold inlay on this. Uh, I mean, it's super, super cute. I mean, so you've got all kinds of different siren song, horn slug right there. Um, you've got armadillo, bile, wolf's bane, vervain, wendigo, antler, um, baneberry. Dad, I you find that it? potion. Oh, pickled. What does that say? Inf infernia. Yeah, so it's like a fire lizard. So Where's leeches, boom slang. What else do we got? What are we looking for? Sneeze wart. Let's see if sneeze wart made it onto this list. I am not seeing sneeze wart on here. So I don't think sneeze wart made the cut. But they have a lot of fantastic potions. And maybe this is for the more rare stuff, right? This maybe is sneeze, rare. I don't know. Maybe sneeze wart is pretty pretty basic. So, yeah, But wait. such a beautiful, wait, beautiful item. I would love that it's just like the weathered oh. look, the weathered parchment look. So I they you guys have given me a a quite a few of these beautiful prints that look absolutely gorgeous that I'm going to need to get framed eventually because right now they're sitting rolled up on my shelf over there and it's disgusting because they're way too beautiful to be just sitting wrapped up like this on a shelf. But I'm going to have to get some frames for those because they are spectacular. Really, really good. So is that it? Is that it? Oh, no. We've got a bunch more stuff to be lied to me. That's okay. I, I, I'll take that lie because uh, that gets me excited because we've got more stuff. Can I um, open this? Yeah, the bottom opens up. You see, you got to yeah. peel from the side here a little bit. You got it? Yeah, I got it. So this one is it's interesting. Like a magnet. Yeah, it's got magnets on it. So what, what? is what is on the, well, on the front? Speak to me. <laughs> no. Nope. Stick to your chest. So what do we got? Oh, okay, practical potion conversions. I don't like so this snow, is like right? a this is a, a a magnet for your refrigerator. It shows you that one cup is equal to eight ounces, which is equal to sixteen tablespoons, which is equal to forty eight teaspoons, and MC. Boy, I cook, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. That's okay. a that's a metric one that I am not a hundred percent sure. Wizard, well, Maybe it is. Thing. Maybe it is. Absolutely. Wait, no, no, Dad. Oh, I thought that was, um, it was me. But this okay. is very, very cute. Um, this is definitely going to go on my fridge. I dare you smell it. I love, 
Ooh, it kind of it kind of smells weird. Whatever yeah. whatever potion they're brewing is, yeah, is, is a gnarly one. So, right? Did you smell it too? Yeah, I smell it. But very cute. I mean, guys, you know, the, the bubbling cauldron with the conversions on here, right. and I do quite a bit of cooking, so um, so this will this will definitely come in handy. There are times where I have to Google uh, how many tablespoons is in you know is in something. So I mean, made, so that is you, this is a great item. You've made a Harry Potter meal, have you? I made the pumpkin pasties. Yeah, yeah I made the pumpkin when they pasties. Said, um, a, a creature page. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is not a creature page. This yeah. is the potion ingredients, um, and Look it says horn slugs, and it gives you all kinds of details Ooh. on here about the horn slugs, and then the back has even more details. And I'll and I'll give you guys a good close up of the front so you can read this and pause pause the uh, video. Oh. And uh, get all the details on the horn slug. Mom's gonna love and then this. I'll give you the back shot too, because yeah, these are definitely some ugly looking slugs. I mean, not that an attract I've ever seen an attractive slug, but <laughs> but but these are definitely ugly. Um, all right, so we've got that. What else you got in there for me, bud? Oh, we have got a potion, potion safety data sheet. So PSDS. So and you've got a little picture of a of a witch at a at a pot here, uh, uh, brewing something up. Uh, this says, school property, do not remove from potion storeroom. And then, oh, Searson, look. Yeah, I know. Look at this. This is actually, it's been 186 days since our last incident. This is what it says. So then you can put notes in here, but it's got a table of contents. And then it's got tons of pages in here on potion identification. Uh, so you've got aging potions. I mean, guys, there is a ton. Look at swelling serum, rat tonic. Uh, I mean, tons of information. They went way above and beyond on the details of this. I mean, this thing has got... I mean, pages upon pages. I mean, 275 pages no. plus some other, some other, um, like, um, items in here are <laughs> some, some like some glyphs uh, some runes like what they mean the different abbreviations and everything so this is fantastic really really great mm -hmm. item i did not ex i was expecting like a journal you know where they've got the outside you know to look like one thing and then uh, a journal on the inside they do have some pages where you can scribble some notes in here some blank pages but all in all this is really cool i'm gonna have to give this one a read because there is a ton of stuff that they poured into this really fantastic we'll set that right here next to the other books how about that all right well, what else do we got in here then we've got Last thing. oh go pull this out pull this out so we have got some pages or some stickers and these are stickers for your own potions. So if you want to make your own potions and put these on the bo on the bottles, this is great. Do not touch. Uh, what else do we have on here? Uh, not grass infusion. You've got dragon scales. Um, what does that say? Uh, arcanite elixir. Uh, unicorn horn. Uh, tonics and elixirs. Forbidden shelf. Ointments and remedies. Arcane herbs. Um, the Hidden Apothecary, Dragon's Heart String. I mean, guys, these are great. I mean, you want to talk about if you're one of these DIYers who like to make your own potion bottles, which I'm not. Um, my potion experience with the DIY ones, uh, they just never turn out as great as the ones they send me. So, but these are fantastic stickers for if you are going to make your own potion bottles. And I know some people that definitely do that, that I follow on Instagram, that will absolutely love these for sure. Great item. And then we have got another print right. here. What do you got? Um, I'm gonna look to this side, maybe I'll see our future. Our future? You Wait. think it's a magical cardboard tube? Is there something else in there? <gasps> look at that, what is, oh, okay, did you put, tuck that in there, you sneaky no, devil? I didn't. So, Right now we have got so this is another one of their of their prints that they do for the um, for the um, uh, what do you call them the uh, common rooms right and this is the Slytherin common room and really really cool I love these they're like a almost like a uh, like a watercolor almost like a painted print uh, showing the Slytherin common room I love this I love just kind of like the even though it's a light. Uh, it's light in color. It's kind of still has that kind of that darker vibe that you get, you know, in the Slytherin common room. And I love outside the window, you've got like this creature 
Uh, it's, it's like it's underwater, like an underwater creature that's uh, that's there. Maybe that's a like a squid How out there. How is it above water? I don't. Well, because their common room is supposed to be below ground, right? Oh. So so that's why, like in the Lego version over there, they're, they're the Slytherin's common room is is in there. So Fuck. is that everything? Is that what we've got? Oh, okay. So we've got. That's what was in here. I didn't tuck it in there. Yeah. Okay. So it says, "Hello, There's witches." A code on the back. Yeah. So this is this is for our cheat sheet. So this is so we can scan and get our cheat sheet. Uh, and you know, I just turned off my backup phone. Where'd that phone go? There it is. We'll get this fired up while I read the front of of this, so that we can do this QR code. Yeah. I forgot all about that. Um, so it says on here, "Hello." Wizards, witches, and magical friends, we wanted to take a moment and let you know that we are taking your feedback into consideration regarding our digital spoilers, mm -hmm. and this will likely be the last box, yes, with a digital spoiler. However, to still try and reduce waste, we do plan to place the spoiler on back on the back of a work of art so that it can be an item that we hope you will keep and display within your collection. Wait, As they, always, hoping you are well. Do so... Are they putting back creature pictures? No, no, no. That's not what they're saying. They're gonna. They're saying that they're gonna probably put like the cheat sheet oh. on the back of like one of these in the future, which I love. I love. Great guys. I'm glad you guys listened because I am not a fan. Oh, I will need this. I am not a fan of these digital uh, of these digital um, uh, cheat sheets. Uh, I like having the paper cheat sheet in front of me so that I don't have to go through all this when I'm unboxing. So thank you for listening. I'm super excited to see those come back. Uh, let's see if I can, let's see, where's the QR code? There's my QR code scanner. Let's scan this, let's scan this guy in here. Come on, grab it, there it goes. And let's open this up. Open a browser, there we go. And let's see what we've got here. So, and I will make life easier for you guys. I will download the PDF version <laughs> and, the, and pull um, this up. I will tell you just when we get there. So, um, but um, I will pull this up and give you guys the close-ups of it so that you can see. So, um, let me, uh, no, that's not working. There we go. Okay. All right. So, we are zoomed in now, and I cannot wait to get that physical page back. <laughs> All right, so um, item number one, the Cauldron, Mortar, and Pestle. The Pure Blood Apothecary offers an exclusive stoneware, mortar, and pestle for all the students at school. These are perfect for grinding up all your herbs, spices, and other ingredients, such as griffin claws and pufferfish eyes. So that was a fantastic item. Sneeze wart. This ingredient is used to cause excessive sneezing and is known as a known ingredient in potions that are meant to confuse the drinker. This bottle will make the perfect first addition to your miniature apothecary shelf. That's what they're calling this item here, the, the, the two books. So I love that. Uh, number three, practical potion conversions. Your new wooden practical potion conversions chart will be the perfect tool for converting units of measure for all of your potion making or baking needs. I love that. Um, the Hidden Apothecary Book Box. This stunning dual book box conceals a set of apothecary shelves between its covers, your own personal potion storeroom, if you will. Over the next few boxes, you will receive miniature items. Oh, now I have to, I'm going to have to display it like that open, guys, because over the next few boxes, um, your own personal potion storeroom, if you will. Okay, so over the next few boxes, you will receive miniature items that will be perfect for stocking these apothecary shelves. Mm -hmm. I love that. That I am super excited to get more of those. Uh, five is the hidden apothecary stickers. You can use these decals to design the inside. Oh, the inside of your apothecary shelves to your liking. We have also included a few potion labels in case you would like to... Uh, bottle a few items of your own to line these mini mini shelves. I love it. So the stickers we can use on the inside as well. Fantastic. Six, creature page. Your last creature page. Now it's official. <laughs> They've just said this is your last one. They probably put that on there because they were tired of hearing me say it was the last creature page four boxes ago maybe. Your last creature page has arrived to complete your Magical Creatures A to Z book. The only page left to collect is the table of contents that will arrive in your next bi-monthly box along with some extra page protectors to store any additional pages inside. Well, we won't need those page protectors because we're going to end up doing your idea. His idea of putting a 
a, a book in the corner over there and then having the pages look like they're erupting out of the book uh, some of them floating some of them dangling and spinning you know so that is a project that we have slated for the future sometime those crucial pages are going to be mine <laughs> is that right all right okay. number seven the horn slug specimen jar the horn slug once stewed is an ingredient in potions and paste that help to remove pimples and boils okay Horn slug ingredient page. We can get that one. It tells you all about the horn slug. Truth serum bottle pen. Oh, okay. So that's what that is. Please refrain from taking things from the potion storeroom without permission. Or this pen just might slip over your morning pumpkin juice. Oh, I like, I like that. That's a great pen. Um, 10, the copper kettle tea steeper. If you're in need of just a cup of tea instead of an entire kettle, this tea steeper will work perfectly. The perfect size for the exclusive tea cup and saucer set they use at the copper kettle. Not that that's a spoiler or anything. <laughs> just forget we mentioned that. Well, we know that's coming. So we got a tea cup coming for sure and a little saucer. That'll be, that'll be one of the items that we can use to this end. So I love that. Thank you guys. I love that. Thank you for making me laugh. Uh, Dungeons Common Room Print. The second in our series of Common Room Prints features a common room located in the dungeons with a view into the lake. If you take a closer look, you'll even see a giant creature swimming by. Yep, we caught that one. Uh, and then the 12, number 12 is the Potion Safety Data Sheet Book. This 280 page fully readable book is to be kept inside the potion storeroom at all times and consulted whenever you have questions about a potion or ingredient, their common uses, and what hazards they pose. You can even find both ingredients from this box within its pages if you would like to find out more about them. Fantastic. I love that. That was such a great item. And then the uh, editor's choice for this box is, I am going to botch this all up, but it's, um, I'll give you guys a close-up, but it's, I want to say, Tiachian, Tiachian no, no, 1206? No, Tiachian 2016, I think. I don't know if you've got the pronunciation on that one. Tiachian, Tiachian 1206. Yeah, um, Instagram. Again, I, I, I think they've kind of shifted their focus more from YouTube, it sounds like, to Instagram. Such a great platform anyways. Um, and, uh, and then the next bi-monthly theme is Wizarding Towns and Villages. So, guys, I mean, honestly, another fantastic box by the Wizarding Trunk. Fantastic items. Um, I'm going to have to ask. So, bud, let's, let's look at this real quick. I'm gonna have to ask, what's your favorite item? What's your favorite item? What, what do we what no, do we got? Doing in order. What do you got? Well, I'm gonna just put them up here so we can see everything because I want everybody's comments below. What is your favorite item from from this box? Because there are we gotta scoot these back a little bit. I'm, I'm pulling them off the camera, um, but um, there are a lot of great items in this box. Uh, not the shell the paper item, the sell the paper item short. Um, but we don't have everything on camera, but there's most, mostly everything that was, that was in there. If no, 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 no. I'm just setting it all up here so it can be seen. If I had to choose, man, I'm going to say, oh man, this is such a tough, I know, I know. Um, I'm going to put the books first. I'm going to say mortise and pestle. Uh, I'm going to go, I love this pin. I love the pin, the pin next, then the steeper. Um, I'm going to go, you know what? Um, aren't I missing? Where's the, oh, there's over, over there. Okay. So I forgot about those guys. Um, I'm going to say these two guys next. Um, uh, you know what? I can't sell. This book is fantastic. I'm gonna actually put, I'm going to put the book up there. That book with all the detail they okay, included that, is fantastic. The items, not the pages. Not the paper. Okay. So we'll just do, because just do like the, the items text. and I'll put that one last, even though it is spectacular. I mean, guys, there's not a bad item in this box. Uh, like this is a really spectacular box. Go right ahead. You give me your item. <laughs> you like that guy the first, uh, the, the best? Book last. Imagine that. Not my big reader. All right. What else? Oh, oh okay, okay. The steeper before the pen. And oh, 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 the slug before the steeper. Okay, okay. And then the magnet. No, no. Magnet last. Oh, book last. Okay, yeah, that's right. I forgot about the book there. Like that? Yeah. I, I mean, I, I get it. I get it. I mean, there, this, I, I, of course you like this. You love little tiny things. That mortise and pestle is adorable. And the books. I mean, guys, 
jam-packed with amazing stuff. I mean, there are some fantastic items in this box. If you didn't pick this one up, I'm sorry, um, because it is fantastic. I know that they'll put some of this stuff up for single purchase uh, items on their on their website. Actually, but wait. this one for me is, is a home run. I absolutely love, and the fact that they're going to continue to give you more items to fill these shelves, and it smells fantastic on the inside. So smells like smells like finished wood. I love that smell. I'm a woodworker, so so that smells like is like candy to me. I I absolutely love that. So take the box, take it away. Look, this is this is the order actually. Okay, okay, well, that's fine. But guys, you have to comment below and let me know your your picks. You know, what are your top top items from this box? Because I mean, there are a ton, and and again, not to sell any of these items short because there are some fantastic things that we didn't even include in here the print the stickers the the, the creature page i mean th but i mean th there's some fantastic items all around did in the this. creature page i would have done this yeah for as number one number one Two. so guys i mean we're to this point where I, if you haven't yet, I, which I hope you have if you're here, but if you haven't yet, I need you guys to please do not forget to click that subscribe button, click that bell notification, give us both a great big thumbs up, and don't forget to check us out on Instagram and TikTok too. Guys, the Wizarding Trunk never fails to make make a video super magical, yeah, and I absolutely loved the magical items they included in this box, but... Until next time. All you wizards and muggles alike, keep, keep it magical. magical.